um, recently actually one of the students updates me about the new syllabus or of RESPM and then the student actually told me that uh, the natural log actually add into the new SPM syllabus even though I'm still not 100% sure about this thing but for me I think there's no harm to actually learn more uh, for mathematics so yeah today I decided to make a short video to teach students uh, how to solve the natural log questions yeah, just in case you see something like this in your exam paper so what you're going to do here and of course in this video i also will teach you like when you should use the uh, natural log as well all right so before i go into the question i actually prepare about seven questions here to to help you like fully understand how to solve the natural log questions so but when we call natural log most of the time we will use ln to represent it we'll use the ln to represent it so uh, the ln over here, we, we basically we call it at ln. So normally I will call this one at ln x equals to 5. But then the ln actually is the same meaning with log base e. Stem is the, uh, I believe a lot of you see about common log before lg. So like lg will be log base 10. This one we call common log. So right now for natural log, we call ln ln. So basically it is the log base e. So if you understand this one, so uh, one of the very important thing is when should we actually use the ln when we see the e, which is the exponent in our questions. Because what? Like, uh, because like ln e actually equals to 1. Okay, how, how, how am I going to know this? So because ln basically means log base e. When log base e, e, when base and the number here is the same, then you will get 1 in the net. So therefore, wh whenever we see the exponent, we will add ln rather than lg. Alright, so of course you can still write the log uh, base e like this, but normally we will just use the ln to represent the log base e in mathematics. So this is how we solve it. So therefore you can see I actually prepared some exponent question here. So yeah, one of the very important tips here, whenever you see expo e here, uh, you will always use the ln. Now you have another question. Let's say we have 2 power of x equals to 9. If I want to solve the question like this, should I use the LG or should I use the log base 2 or should I use LN? Yeah, you have three choice here. 1, 2, 3. Which one you should use in order to get a correct answer for X? My answer is you can use any of them. You will still get the same result. No matter you add log base 10 or LN or log base 2 for this question, you will always get the same result for x so yeah you can use any of them but normally if you see e here we will use ln of course you say if you don't want to use ln you use lg can you get the answer yes but you will actually uh, waste more time on solving this kind of questions all right so i hope you at least you get some idea how to solve it so if you do then we will go into the questions here okay so one of the very important rules in order to solve the question number one is like okay when ln x equals to five what i normally i will do is because i know ln is log base e so if i throw my e to the other side i will actually get e power five this one will be my final answer if the question asks about exact value they say leave your answer in exact value or exact form then e5 will be my final answer so i will not type into a calculator to change it in your decimal because this is like very accurate answer like one over three i will write like, like example fraction we will use one over three rather than 0 0.33333 so yeah this is like exactly like pi so you can get the idea this is the final answer of exact form definitely if you want to use the calculator yeah you can do that and then if the question doesn't say exact form yeah you can use the calculator and change it to like 148.41 yeah but um yeah if if the question say about exact value or exact form or find the exact answer so you see the word exact you must leave in the term uh e5 All right but some students might struggle a little bit like how am i going to get the e5 here so 
Okay, in order to understand this one, you, you kind of need to refresh back what you have learned about the log before. Example, if I have log 3x equals to 2, how are you going to solve this thing? So what we will normally do is, if the base is 3, we throw the log 3 to the other side, I will get 3 power of 2. Yeah, so this is something like log AB equals to C, B equals to A power of C. This is a short form, like straight away get it. So therefore, LN is log base EX, isn't it? Equals to 5. So therefore, I will get X equals to E power of 5. Okay, what happens if in the exam, you can't remember about this rule, but you still want to solve this question? How you can do is something like this. You need to remember ln E equals to 1. So I can do the 5 multiply, 1 is still 5, right? I didn't change the value. So I can I, I can use the 5 to multiply ln e. Then ln x is equals to ln e. Log rule tell me that 5 I can move up become the power, right? And then ln and ln I simplify. x is still equals to e power 5. Just in case you can't remember that formula, so you can doing I uh, can solve the question by using this method. And then you type in the calculator is 148.41. Right, this is how you solve these kind of questions. So if you can understand, then I will move on to the question number two here. Okay, for question number two here, it's the same idea. Do you see the lawn here? The brackets, you must be very careful for log is very different with algebra because a lot of students say oh minus is nice so i can do ln 5x minus ln 2. if you do like this it's definitely wrong because log is not the same with algebra you cannot like just uh, expand the ln for both so what i will do is i will throw my ln to the other side to get me e power of 3. Then this 5x minus 2, I will remain here. And then I want to find x, I just move around. x equals to e3 plus 2 over 5. So if the question asks about exact form or exact value or exact answer, I will leave like this. Or else I will just type everything in the calculator to get some decimal here. But uh, over here, I'm not going to show you the decimal. So I will just leave like this. So if you want, you can just type the calculator by yourself. All right, uh, for the next questions here, will be slightly complicated but it's, it's not really if you understand about log rule very well so over here i will do some things like okay this is 2 ln x what is 1 over x here 1 over x basically is x power of negative 1 isn't it equals to 10 and what the log rule tell me that um the power i can actually move to the front become multiply right so the negative one i can multiply with negative three become positive three ln x equals to 10. then you have two ln x plus three ln x you just remember just understand like two a plus three a you get five a isn't it so you get five ln x equals to 10. then ln x equals to uh, 10 divided by five which is two then x you will get e2 or you can type in a calculator but we just leave in e2 Alright, then the next one is like this. If the question you don't see about ln, but you see about, uh, you see the exponent here, uh, what you need to understand is something like this. If a power of b equals to c, okay, so if I, if I want to throw my a to the other side, this is what happens. Um, my b actually will become log ac. So you just imagine this b is at a power right it, it's kind of like will drop down <laughs> it become a number here and then the a you move to the other side it will become the base all right actually uh this one actually i skip some step of course you want to understand the the uh real real ways of doing this i mean like step by step what i'm doing here is basically uh you understand in order to uh, make the b a subject because b is a power right you have to add the log base a for both sides then now you can move the power to the front isn't it so you get b and log a a is just one then i will get log a c isn't it so yeah so this is what happened 
you find out actually I get the same answer, right? So I used to think like this. So whenever I have a power of b equals c, I would just well, I would straight away know b actually equals to log a c. So I can give you some example. So let's say two x equals to five. Then I will say, oh, my x is equals to log two five. Yeah, so you just keep on practice this one. You can uh you can solve the log quite fast, and it's going to save you some time. If you can't, you can use back the original methods here. You just add the log for both sides, and then you solve it uh, step by step. Both both should be fine. So if you can understand this one, then I will just go into the exponent question. So what happens is the e and move to the other side. This is what I will get, right? I will get log e eleven. And then this is 2x plus 1. But like what I say, this topic will not write log e. So I will get ln 11. So if I want to get an x here, so my x is just equals to the ln 11 minus 1 divided by 2. I just make x as a subject here. Just move around the 1 and 2. And then I will get my final answer like this. You can type everything in the calculator. No problem. Yep. So let's move on to the last three questions here. Right, um, same idea, we see the e over here, definitely I will solve the number in front first, like 75 divided by 25, I actually get 3 here, so then I will get 3. Even though right now I have e, x, uh, e power of x over 2, but whenever I see the e is quite easy, if you can't remember, move the e to the other side, you get ln 3, then you can add the ln for both sides by yourself. Now, you can throw the power to the front, then you will get x over 2. What is ln e? I say at the very beginning, it's equals to 1, then equals to ln 3. Alright, then x is just equals to 2 ln 3. Yeah, depend what the qu qu uh, question is one, uh, but normally I will say, I will change this one, in, yeah, I can, I can write like this, yeah, sometimes I write like this, it doesn't matter, or I can do a ln 3 power of 2, uh, which is ln 9. Yeah, you can do like this, depend what kinds, uh, what answer they want, because sometimes they will ask you, uh, leave your answer in ln A, or leave the answer in B ln A, then uh, depend what form they want, so yeah. Okay, so, but I actually prefer you to actually understand, like, you move the E to the other side, you straight away get ln, it's going to save you some time. Okay, so... Okay, then we have a look at like question number six. Uh, question number six is quite common uh, questions at higher level. So basically, uh, this is quadratic equation. Okay, because what, um, you have ln 2x and x and number. So you just imagine, um, if you can't see this one, you just, okay, I will let m equals to e power of x. Then this one is basically e x squared, isn't it? 2 times x and x times 2 is the same thing. If this is the m here, so the whole thing I can change into m squared. Minus 5m plus 6 equals 0. Then I can factorize this one easily by m minus 3, m minus 2. Alright, then m equals to 3 and m equals to 2. But you know that I'm not finding m here, isn't it? What I want to find is x, so I will sub back e power of x equals to 3 and e power of x equals to 2. Alright, then how to find x? e I throw to the other side become ln 3. This one e I throw to the other side become ln 2. So I will get two different answers, which is ln 3 and ln 2. Alright, then we will go to the last question of this video. Uh, the question actually asks you to solve this thing. Alright, so Okay, this one you can't simply move the negative x to the front because you don't see any log here. This one is in the form of exponent. So yeah, you kind of need to do some indices here. So what I will do here is this is e power of x. Oops, it's a plus. So a plus, e power of negative x, it will be one over e power of x, right? All right, it goes to three. And this is uh, quadratic, but then it's just in a different way because it's slightly more complicated. Then I will multiply e power of x for the whole equation because what? Because I do not want my e power of x at the d don't matter. So after I multiply e power of x times e power of x, e power of 2x. And then e power of x multiply 1 over ex, I get 1 because they simplify already, equals to 3ex. 
Then we go back to the question we see just now. I move the negative 3 ex to the other side plus 1 equals to 0. So yeah, then I will kind of need to solve this thing. But because you know I uh, can't simplify, uh, I can't get the perfect answer here. So I will just use the calculator to quickly solve this one. But you should, you should be able to see this one is a quadratic. I hope you can see. Alright, so if you can see this one as a quadratic, then my A value is 1. My B value is negative 3. And my C value is 1. So I will get my E power of X equals to 2.618. And or my E power of X will equal to the second answer, which is 0 0.382. Alright, then in order to find X, I will learn 2.618. This one I will learn 0 0.382. Yeah, this is how we solve uh, this kind of questions. This is not quite straightforward, but as long as you understand about the natural laws, no matter how complicated is the question, you can still find a way to solve it. Yeah, and then, yes, this is like the seven questions, like how to solve uh, using the natural law. I hope this video actually can help you understand better uh, about this part because even though this part coming out in the SPM is just another log questions, just this time is a little bit different because it's a log base E. Yes, yeah, so in the next video, maybe I will discuss a little bit on how to uh, draw the function for exponent and ln because, yeah, in a higher level. Ex example a level stpm or or any previous levers you will learn about how to draw the graph for e for exponent and at the same time for ln all right so anyways i hope you can understand this video i'm going to see you guys in the next video bye bye